War in the Bay 5 here in the heart of San Jose. We're here at Legends Boxing and I'm with John Alvalos. John, last time, the beginning rounds of fight, you tore your meniscus. Like, how was that? It was way out of the blue because I worked that move so much in the in the in the um, in training I just stepped in and snapped to this point to this day I don't know why or I, I still don't know how it happened right so it's something that just happened that I kind of just had to go through but I tried to continue but we weren't they weren't they weren't gonna let me would you think like after the fight did you like reflect back and did you observe like was it something to do with like not stretching training or like it just like Oh, it was one of those days. I have no idea because I was stressed. I was running where everything was good. We were training hard. I was running up mountains, but it, just, it was just something that just happened, you know, um, something I couldn't real, really control. And we were just talking about the fight. You stepped up in the ring against Joe Throw, who is a middleweight pro MMA fighter. That must take a lot of balls to balls for you to enter the ring and just be like, okay, I'm here. I'm, I'm, I'm willing to take on this fight and we'll see what happens. Yeah, also, um, there was two opponents before him that dropped out. So it was like two weeks notice to, to fight him. Oh, wow. So um, I kind of said, yeah, let's do it. I came up with a game plan real quick, me and my son. Uh, he was about your height. So the plan was to close the distance and just stay in his chest. And I, was, I had him right where I want him in the corner. And then boom, my knee snaps. So it was like, bummer. <laughs> like two weeks against a pro MMA fighter who's about my height. Like I'm, I'm sure the training must be intense. The game plan is just like take away the range from him. Because because when I meet opponents and when I'm fighting, like this is what I what, what the coaches tell me after. Like that's what we're trying to do. But two fighters dropped, as you mentioned, and you were the third one for two weeks' notice. How did you prepare for the fight? It was it was real quick, so we just had to come up with a quick game plan. All we had was his height. I didn't really have any tape on him. So all we had to do, okay, is close the distance and just stay in his chest all day and see what happens, right? But we didn't get the opportunity to do that. But, um, but I mean, I had to change my game plan three times because the other guys were, you know, shorter. One was shorter, thinner. One was bigger. So we had, but so I could kind of see what pros go through, you know? So um, so it takes it does take a lot to kind of like sign the dotted line and be like, okay, I'll fight him two weeks' notice. Let's go. So, yeah. But... Well, that, again, as I mentioned, takes big balls for a man to just stamp it on two weeks' notice in the ring. What plans do you have for the, for the next fight coming up? Um, this time I'm training smarter. Um, I'm, not, I'm not as young as I thought I was, so um, I'm working just pure technique, cardio. Uh, I'm not going too hard, but I know what I have to do in there. Yeah. You, you prepare for it because there's an old saying, courage is a true warrior's soul. So basically... You prepared for the fight on the coming coming up 20th, and well, I wish you luck. Well, thank you very much. This is AJ from New Money Fight Club, and thank you for having us. We are here at the heart of San Jose at Legends Boxing for War of the Bay fight.